Hi guys, welcome back to this video. As you can see, I'm in a new location for filming. Um, we moved, it's been crazy. It's been a crazy last couple months actually. I've been super, super busy as I'm sure you guys have as well because what, we're like a month into the new semester. So how's it going guys? Are you in your last semester? Are you just starting? Are you doing prereqs? Are you maybe an experienced nurse that is just going through your next month or two or whatever of shifts? Let me know where you're at in the comments below. I'm curious to see like what type of people do we have on here and where are you at in your journey? Okay, but we're gonna jump in now to some post-classroom study tips. Yes, that is post-classroom. Like after you go to class for the day and get home, what are some study tips? But before we get started, you do need to know that this video is sponsored by Picmonic. Okay guys, so let me just make up a little statistic here. I would venture to say that the people that study a little bit every single day throughout the week do much better on exams and in nursing school than the people who tend to procrastinate and cram all their studying in the night before tests. So hear me out guys. You know little kids, like kindergarten age, how you learn your ABCs and they teach you like a letter a week and then each day the kid gets some homework, like night one they have to trace the letter and night two they have to read a story about the letter and night three they have to color a picture of the letter and over that week they're learning little bits by little bits of what that letter is and by the end of the week the kid knows their letter A and then the next week they go on to letter B. Okay. So let's compare this to nursing school. Let's say you go to class on Monday and you learn A, and on Tuesday you learn B, and Wednesday C, and et cetera, and then on the weekend you're trying to learn A, B, C, D, E. Are you going to remember as much information as if you went home on Monday and you studied a little bit about A, and you went home on Tuesday and you studied a little bit about B, and the next day a little bit about C, no, because you are not as efficient at studying if you are cramming everything into the weekend. I know you guys are gonna like semi hate me, but then you're gonna love me for telling you this. If you study a little bit every single day after you get home, you are going to do so much better on your exams and feel a lot more confident in the information you're studying than if you just cram it all into a shorter period of time. This is why I love Picmonic, guys, because Picmonic helps you do this. Picmonic is an online resource and an app that you can use to help you study in nursing school. They have like every single topic. So let's say you learn about hypertension on Monday. You can go home and you can search hypertension and you can actually learn about it again at home to help you study and solidify the knowledge that you're learning in nursing school. They have question banks about all the topics and they have fun stories that help you remember what you're learning about. Picmonic is a great additional study tool to use to what you're learning in nursing school because you can pair it with the things that you're already learning and it just helps solidify that information in your mind. They have everything on there that you're learning in school from pharmacology to pathophysiology, disease processes, nursing processes. What's great is you can just go on, watch a funny, cute video and story to help you remember the information in a silly way because we learn better when we can actually visualize and hear and read and see what is going on. What's awesome is you can customize question banks on Picmonic so that way, let's say you you study a little bit every single day, but then at the end of the week, you want to create a question bank of everything that you just learned during that week. You can select those things, make a question bank, and practice those questions, and it'll give you rationales when you're wrong. You can reference the answers in the actual Picmonic stories to help you remember and solidify that information. I so wish I had Picmonic back when I was in nursing school. This is like right up my alley, guys, because in nursing school, this is literally what I did. So, for example, amlodipine or nicardipine, any of those calcium channel blockers. When I was learning the endings of different drugs, I would take like the calcium channel blockers and the last ending is dipine. So I would think dip, okay, calcium, you dip cookies and milk, so dipine, those are calcium channel blockers. And that's how I learned in nursing school, but I had to make it up myself. Picmonic does all this type of stuff for you to just help you remember those crazy things through nursing school. Their question banks are also going to help you when it comes time to take the NCLEX because they are very similar style to the NCLEX. If you guys are interested in trying out Picmonic, I will have the link down below. We're all about saving money in nursing school, right guys? Because we're all poor, because 
we don't have our real big girl, big boy jobs yet. Okay, not everyone, but most of us. If you guys have any questions on Picmonic or if you guys have any funny nursing school stories, why don't you share them down below? I'm interested in hearing. Give this video a thumbs up if this was helpful to you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.